Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week I'm just going to talk to you about maximizing your sale value of a used bike if you're looking to sell your bike. Now road bike, mountain bike, hybrid bike, whatever it be, you're always trying to, if you're selling a bike at any point, you're trying to obviously get the most amount of money, make it the most value for money for a buyer that you can. So basically this video I'm going to do what I would do to a bike before I sell it and you can take away from this what you could do or won't be able to do to your own bike in the future. So the first thing I do is declutter a bike. Take off the mud guards, take off pumps, take off light fittings, computer fittings, any fittings that you've got on that bike, take them off. It will make the bike look like it was presented by a manufacturer originally when it was sold. You want that bike to look sparkly new. People love to accessorize their own bikes. So always declutter your bike before you try and sell it. Don't think that leaving your lights on is gonna make it more saleable because actually you'll reduce your market because it will look cluttered. So I always strip a bike down and start to clean it up. The pedals on this bike, the little screw fittings have gone rusty. So I'll swap those through with another U set so your eye doesn't go to rust basically. You wanna try and get rid of as much rust on a bike as possible. So I'm going to replace these bolts that hold the pedal arms on because they're rusty inside. You'll see that shortly in a little while along the video. And I'm going to take it all apart because I always change my cables on all the bikes because obviously as a retailer, I have to offer a warranty by law on any bike that I sell. So I try to make sure that I'm not going to have any problems with that bike. So I always change the cables. But again, those nice shiny stainless steel cables, they don't cost an awful lot of money and they just make that bike a little bit more sparkly to the potential buyer of it. So again, you're maximizing your potential to sell the bike and it's a selling point. You can say, yes, it's had new cables, it's had new brake pads, it's had this, it's had that. You can tell them the things that you've done to it and they, it will make them not be able to walk away from it. Now these little chain guards here, you can wash them down as we're doing here. You'll see the difference in the sense of that there is nice and reflective, that gets very greasy and oily obviously sitting behind the cassette like this. But actually we didn't put this back on this bike because we were trying to make it look a little bit sportier for the sale. Degrease the chain, you know, nice fresh looking chain on a bike. Sparkling will always make the buyer see that that bike is well cared for and well maintained and nice. So with this, I didn't put this in the ultrasonic cleaner, which we normally do, as you know, on our other videos. But this, I've literally just washing it down with a sponge, soapy water and a brush so that you can see what results you can get by just cleaning a part up in the basic way that you could do at home without all the fancy equipment to do it. So these, both the derailleurs, I've literally just done with warm soapy water. Now there's always a little guard, or often a little guard that you can see me taking off there on the chain sets. Again, manufacturers put these on because you know they're, they're trying to make the bike appeal to the majority. But when you take those off, you're sharpening the bike up, you're making it look a little bit more sporty. A little bit more saleable so I actually usually remove those guards they often break anyway so I remove the guards and the plastic bits that just make the bike not look quite so smart I'm always trying to present a bike as smartly as possible so lubricate everything up fresh grease on the springs it's all things that you can say to the customer you know it's been freshly freshly lubricated you know with genuine Shimano grease whatever it be that would be my selling point on the, the cleanliness of the components on the drivetrain and then I always, I'm actually using here, you can't quite see it, along that braking edge, I was using wire wool to take any blackness off that braking edge to make sure that the brakes are working perfectly when that bike goes out. Again, whether it's a service bike or a sale of a bike, we generally, we don't deal in used bikes at Bike Speeds, we generally knew, but by the nature of being a bike shop, you do get an odd used bike come through that you do do this to, and this is actually one of ours that we're currently got in the shop for sale this was our preparation of that bike. Move the logos that are on the tyres, they, they didn't line up with the valves so I moved those as well. Again it just makes the bike present as if it's been well cared for and perfectly prepared, which it has been. Now I'm just washing down the frame, obviously I've took all the components off to wash them. You may not be able to do that at home, so just wash your bike down as best you can. Spend as much time as you can with a rag, warm soap and water, get that bike gleaming. Now old stickers, get rid of them you know no one wants to see a sticker peeling off even if it's one of the original manufacturers sometimes they'll actually use stickers rather than lacquered over 
graphics on a bike, they'll often put stickers onto a painted frame. Again, if they're peeling up at any edges, just take them off. You know, customer doesn't know what was originally on that bike from new. So if the Trek logo there perhaps was a sticker and was peeling, I'd peel it off because, you know, the customer wouldn't know and the bike would present better. So now I'm just polishing this bike with a car polish. It's a resin based polish that we use, Auto Glim, and it really makes that frame stand out. Now I lubricate the brakes, they often seize, when you buy a bike, like if I, if I receive a bike in, often the brakes are seized on those posts, so it's just general servicing. I always replace the brake pads, because again it's a selling feature, new brake pads fitted. You can see here the bolts that hold that chain set on, that was the new ones against the old ones. New ones, couple of pound, and you've got you know a bike that is just looking so much nicer. As soon as a customer comes in to look at a used bike, they'll be looking at rust, as you can see on these screws, rusty screws on the old pedals. These are used pedals, but they just present better. They're nice and clean, no rust, perfect. A little bit of grease and everything doesn't go amiss, so although we're presenting this for sale, uh, equally we're also servicing it. All our bikes go out freshly serviced, so, you know, it's just little details that you've seen in our other videos. We torque everything up, nice fresh chain. I go right through the bike, even on a sale bike with a torque wrench. I want it to present well and I, I don't want any problems with that but I don't want it coming back so I like to make sure it is absolutely spot on. I always think if I would take a bike out that I'm selling and race on it then I'm happy to sell it and that's exactly where we are at when we're selling the bike and that's where you should be at. You know, if you're not trying to cover any secrets. If you're happy to sell a bike that you'd be happy to use, that's the bike to sell. Always put fresh handlebar grips on, be it handlebar grips like this or bar tape on a road bike, change your grips because it makes that bike feel absolutely fresh to somebody who maybe test riding it or coming to look at it in your home. They can see that the bar tape's all clean, they can see the handlebar grips are all tech clean. It's just a nice feeling bike when they get hold of it and for what they cost, you're well, you know, well within your means to do that. Now this, this what I did to this bike in terms of presenting it for sale was close to three figures if you was to come in as a customer and pay for it, but it can be done at home. Now this is something you always want to take note of, raise your saddle because it will make the bike look sportier. So if you ride it with a lower saddle, make sure your, your saddle is above your handlebars and finally pump up your tyres when the customer's coming to look at the bike so it's got firm tyres and everything's nice. When you've taken your photographs, present it well, line up your pedals, line up your pedal arms, line up the logos, and take your photographs with it presenting nicely, and you'll have no trouble selling a used bike. Your new owner will be very pleased with their purchase. So, thanks for watching.